Well, it's quite incredible that month after month after month has been allowed to pass after uh, Boris Johnson and the government had said the conditions for triggering Article 16 have clearly been met. Uh, and it amazes me that they've allowed this to go on so long. And you're now seeing ahead of the May elections, of course, including the Northern Ireland Assembly elections, a wave of pressure from the likes of the DUP for the government to finally take action. Now, of course, when it comes to Boris Johnson's leadership, only Conservative MPs with the letters in can remove him. And so the DUP criticism, I think, is more about actually the influence those interventions have with Brexiteer supporters, with Leave supporters. And I've highlighted in recent polls, you know, YouGov recently had 10% of Leave voters now switching to Reform UK. We saw the most recent poll of the Red Wall showing 8% of voters in the Red Wall now intending to vote for Reform UK. Boris Johnson's Conservatives cannot afford to lose that support. And this issue of the Northern Ireland Protocol, of the UK standing up to the EU and taking action is absolutely critical if Boris Johnson is to hold on to Brexiteer support. And so you had not one, but two interventions from the DUP ahead of the May elections at Prime Minister's Questions today. DUP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson and fellow DUP MP Jim Shannon, both questioning Boris Johnson about the protocol. Let me know what you make of these interventions and of Boris Johnson's responses. I'll keep bringing you all the very latest on this. Last week, the Daily Telegraph, not, not normally a, a paper that I read, but I did read this headline that said Northern Ireland could be forced to follow EU rules on COVID tests. The Chancellor told the House that Northern Ireland could benefit from moves to scrap VAT on energy efficiency measures because of the protocol. So now the protocol's restrictions threaten the shortage of COVID tests in Northern Ireland. So can I ask the Prime Minister, the financial cost of the protocol can be measured, but the true cost in relation to VAT, to medicines, to COVID tests and damaged relationships is much, much greater. When is the government and my Prime Minister going to restore our place in the United Kingdom? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thank you very much. And there is clearly uh, an economic cost uh, to the protocol. And uh, that is also uh, now turning into a political uh, problem and, and uh, an imbalance in, in sentiment about it. We need to rectify that balance for the sake of the Good Friday Agreement on which uh, this country uh, depends. Uh, the Road Haulage Association has uh, uh, confirmed that the cost of moving goods from this part of the United Kingdom to Northern Ireland has risen by 27 per cent in the first year of the operation of the protocol. The Irish Sea border is harming our economy. It is undermining political stability in Northern Ireland. Next week, the people of Northern Ireland will go to the polls to elect an assembly. What hope can the Prime Minister give to the people of Northern Ireland that this protocol will be removed and that Northern Ireland's place within the UK internal market will be restored? Yeah. Uh, I, I thank him very much. and I think that what the whole House will want to, uh, to support is the, the balance and symmetry of the, of the Good Friday Agreement. That's what really matters. That's a great legacy for all of us. And uh, it's vital that the protocol uh, or that the arrangements we have in Northern Ireland uh, should command the support uh, of all sides. And uh, that's what this government uh, will uh, undertake to uh, ensure.